Good morning, i9 family. I'd like to thank you all for returning to the channel. If you're new to the channel, on this channel, we talk about personal finance, business finance, and professional development. If that interests you, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. Um, if you have any questions or any um, video suggestions, please leave those in the comments also. Um, in advance, thank you for watching and let's get into the video. So today we're going to be talking about this um, in rewards secured card from Navy Federal Credit Union. Um, we've I've seen where there are people saying um, that you shouldn't get the card because it could possibly be taking up one of your slots with Navy Federal and that you should repair your credit outside of Navy Federal before you come to Navy Federal. Um, there are many opinions on this, um, and I just want to give you my personal one. I did get the card. I actually already was in the 700s, and um, due to my current credit profile, they did not approve me for unsecured card initially. So in order for me to build a relationship with Navy Federal, I went ahead and got the secured card and got a secured loan through them to um, kind of build that relationship with them with credit. In four months, I was able to see an unsecured card with um, a $10,000 limit. And personally, I feel like it has worked well for myself. Um, so my suggestion would be, yes, go ahead, get the end rewards card. Um, because even if you're in the rebuilding process, I did the Navy Federal Credit Union um, high limit cards with bad credit scores video. Um, if you have a 500 score, you know a 600 score a subprime score and we're seeing consistently those with these subprime scores are able to get the secured card and then go back in three to four months and get a card with a a unsecured card with a five six thousand dollar limit that's a limit that another financial institution is not going to give you with that score be grateful for what they're giving you at that time and wait, repair your score and go back for a credit limit increase later or go and open another card later. Um, no, there's not a necessity in having all $25,000, $30,000 limit cards, um, especially not on the personal side. They're good to have. Yes, they're great. Um, asset to your financial arsenal however again wait build up your relationship with them go back apply for a credit line increase or apply for another car get that limit that you want and then you're still able to go to other financial institutions and get cards elsewhere to supplement that um, so again my opinion would be to go ahead, get the secured card, build your credit with them, build your credit overall, and then go back and apply for a new card or credit limit increase, rather than to go to a different financial institution that's not going to give you these same limits or benefits, and then try to build um, with them uh, again, there's no overall loyalty to any one institution, but give your primary primary loyalty to the bank that is, or the institution that is giving you loyalty. If Navy Federal doesn't work with you, then go find someone else that does. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.